All right, welcome back. I am back. So we ha just helped Isabella with her stuff. Her final companion quest, which sealed the romance, I think. Roman options. Um, it looked like it. I've been playing a lot of RPGs over m my lifetime, so pretty sure when I can tell you when the game mechanics kicks in or not. <laughs> um, I still haven't checked the premium content there uh, while I was away. Uh, I will do it later. Uh, if someone knows it, maybe you can tell me. Otherwise, I'm going to speak to Knight Commander Merit. She sent me a letter a while ago. For some reason. And I'm guessing she's fishing uh, since she's smart, right? She knows I have sway and uh, influence in a city as a champion of Kirkwall. So she's probably gonna get, gain my favor somehow or convince me somehow. To the gallows. Paris. All mages are confined to their quarters. Yes, apparently they are. That's all they are. I'm not giving her <laughs> giving her my support. So shut up. Oh, Orsino. You have the office just opposite of the night. This is a difficult time for Kirkwall. That's tricky. Can I check around? Steal things. Please. I need to empty all the chests so I know I've been here or not. Oh, Elsa. The Knight Commander wishes to speak to you. Oh, she's tranquil. She has the tattoo in her face. Hi. Champion, welcome. Oh, cool sword. Nice to see you. Always a pleasure. And may I say that outfit was a wise choice. There was an incident within the gallows. A number of phylacteries were destroyed, and several mages took the opportunity to escape. We've recovered most of the fugitives. However, I require your assistance in tracking down the last three. Tell me about it, incident. How did the phylacteries get destroyed? An insurrection. Several of my own Templars orchestrated the escape, presumably out of sympathy for the mages. They turned their backs on their duty and endangered their charges, as well as the city. Thankfully, most who escaped fled to their families and offered no resistance. The last three are proving more difficult. Can't your Templars do it? Since you're turning to me, should I assume the Templars all suddenly disappeared? The apostates are being sheltered by their families. Some have been reluctant to talk to Templars, but you are another matter. The people of Kirkwall trust you, champion. They will be more honest for you than for us. I want to say, okay, I won't be used. Huh. Now she's definitely trying to use me. I can see that. But I do kind of follow, want to follow through and see uh, how it goes. Can probably. Oh, yeah. I'll see what I can do. I am relieved. I was expecting resistance after that debacle at the market. 
talk to these mages' families. Learn I will talk to them. I will help them escape. Find them before they do harm. I will help them escape. Uh, you will see that imprisonment or death is sometimes the only kindness we well, can offer. Well, you're an asshole. Speak to my assistant, Elsa. She can tell you whatever you need to know about the fugitives. I bid you good day, champion. Good day, champion of Kirkwall. Knight Commander Meredith has informed me that you will be tracking down the apostates on behalf of the Templars. There are three of them. Huon, Emile, and Evelina. Aren't you tranquil? Why does Meredith have a tranquil assistant? The Knight Commander believes tranquil mages to be efficient and single-minded. I, in particular, am extremely organized. Is blood magic involved? Are the apostates blood mages? The Knight Commander suspects this, yes. But she does not know for certain. The Knight Commander tends to assume all apostates practice blood magic. She prefers to err on the side of caution. Okay. Tell I me about Huon. I hear about Huon. Huon is an elf. He was apprehended in the alienage ten years ago. His wife, Nisa, works for a dressmaker in Lowtown. What does Nisa know? Have the Templars spoken to her? Yes. Nisa insists she has not seen Huon since he joined the Circle. From the alienage? Could Huon be hiding among the other elves in the alienage? The Templars' searches uncovered nothing. The Templars have also concluded that few other elves would risk hiding him. Huon was taken many years ago. Most of the alienage's inhabitants do not even know him. Okay. Tell me what you know about Emile. The second apostate is Emile de Lancey. Fifth son of the Comte de Lancey. Out of Hightown. Some of our more vocal and delicate nobility. They are home in the evenings authoring complaints. Mm-hmm. What have they said to the Templars? The Comte and Comtesse say they have not seen Emile since he was a child. Tell about the what family. do you know about the Delonces? Comte Guillaume de Lancey is a minor noble from Orlais. He and his wife came to the Free Marches over three decades ago. Emile was born in Kirkwall and sent to the Circle at age six. Okay, the last one. What do you know about Evelina? Evelina was trained for eight years in the Circle in Ferelden. She was last seen in her former residence among the refugee community in Darktown. Ferelden? How did she come to be in Kirkwall? Evelina claims to have fled the Blight, not the Circle. She presented herself to the first Enchanter on her arrival and asked to take her place here. And doesn't sound like a fugitive. Anything else? Our files indicate she petitioned Meredith for financial support of numerous other pre-adolescent Blight survivors. Last thing. Did the Templars run into her in Darktown? Yes, they tracked her there, but she killed several pursuers. The Templars believe she is the most dangerous apostate. I have all the information I require for now. Good luck on your search, Champion of Kirkwall. Okay. Let's see what we can do then. Fucking Templars. Well, the Templars are good. They actually, actually, actually mages get their the powers get to their head and wields it. Marking okay. Uh, let's start in the alienage. Go in the order we uh, she presented them, uh, introduced uh, fugitives. Human, Hu, Huon, Emil, and oh, the last name I don't remember. Huon, Emil, and Evelina. We'll go in that order. Oh, here's Nisa. Oh, read 
Greetings, Monsieur. My mistress is away seeing to a customer, but she will be back shortly. I can take your measurements if you wish to have a dress made. Make ruffles? I'll only wear dresses that are absolutely festooned with ruffles. Good choice. Perhaps it is best if you wait for my mistress. You could tell me about your husband, Huon. That would be helpful. When the Templars came, I told them the truth. I hadn't seen Huon in ten years. But after they left, he... He came to me. He wanted me to hide him. I used to dream of him returning, but not like this. He's changed, and I don't know him anymore. I sent him away. You all right? Did he hurt you? Only broke my heart. Okay. Changed? How has Huon changed? He was obsessed with showing everyone true elven power. He frightened me. Did you see him use any magic? Perhaps blood magic? Would she know it to see it? I... I don't know. I don't think he used magic on me. So you hadn't seen him since he left you? Huon didn't leave me. He was taken away. When the Templars found out he was a mage, they chained him and dragged him from the alienage, in front of everyone. Now I'm trapped in this, this sham, married but with no husband and no future. Okay. Good riddance. You don't need to be tied down to some man. Oh my god, I'm so evil. If he had been himself, I would have taken him back gladly. But, but Huon said he would return to take me away from this forever. A user, just looking for another handout. I don't know what he means, and I am afraid of him, sir. Don't worry. He probably means to carry you off into the moonlight on the back of a horse. I think whatever he is planning is much more sinister. Huon said he would come to the alienage soon, at nightfall. Are you... are you going to arrest him? I think he needs help. Maybe the Circle will be able to heal whatever troubles him. Oh, I'm not sure about that. Okay, let's come back at night. There we go. Can't I stay in... Can I... I mean... I can... Is there an option to sleep... To sleep over in Meryl's home? She knows me. If I go in here and says, Hey! Hey, friend. Can I stay here tonight? Oh, like this. Exactly like this. You on. You on. Oh, blood mage. <laughs> Hush, love. Don't be afraid. Your blood will bring new life to our people. Oh, oh my God! He killed her. Hell. She was so beautiful. Someday I'd like to go one week without meeting an insane mage. Just one week. I'm visionary. I've seen our destiny. I know what fate holds for the elves. The humans keep us down because they're afraid of the magic within us. <laughs> Look at the magic Lisa held inside her. She was just afraid to use it. He's crazy. Oh. oh, 
Oh, they're the demons. I hate demons. I hate demons. Okay. Electricity. this oh he fell over he break dancing Boots of the champion. I got the boots of the champion. Holy hell. Bonus for complete set. It's just the head I missed, I think. Um, high town at night. Oh, it's a sack over here. Hmm. I'm gonna check something. Can you use your new... You need one more dexterity, right? Yeah. Yeah. Electricity! You're too close. I'm going to push you back a little bit. more of them. Oh my god. Can you stop spawning? <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Alright. High Town. I'm gonna go to High Town, How high town via the docks. That makes sense. It's very logical. You go down to go up. On the loose. This way.
here. All the way over here. The long set mansion. Probably looking like all the other mansions inside. The generic one. You look lovely tonight, my lady. Oh, you are too kind. I am so honored to have the champion in my home. Is that the same voice actor as Cassandra? I refreshments. Talia? Oh, she is so slow, this girl. Come, let us chat while we wait. Fine spirits. You're extremely cheery for a woman whose son is wanted by the Templars. Emil? Oh yes, the Templars were asking about our poor boy recently. I haven't seen Emil since he was taken to the circle. He was just six. You can tell the Templars not to worry. I am sure Emil will turn himself in soon. He is a good boy. Dulce, what have you done? You should have told the boy to throw himself at the mercy of the Templars. Guillaume! Darling! Don't darling me, Dulcie. He's been telling people he's our son, that you gave him gold. Guillaume! Darling, we have guests. Do continue. <laughs> Don't stop on my account. This is fascinating. <laughs> I didn't mean to lie to you, champion. I... I barely saw Emil. I didn't think it was worth mentioning. I gave him some money. Not too much. He said he wanted to start a new life. New life? His new life is spent in Lowtown taverns, getting drunk on cheap wine. It's a wonder the Templars haven't found him yet. Help us, please, champion. Emil is not a blood mage, just a foolish boy. Don't let the Templars kill him. Blood mage? Oh, Guillaume, don't say that. Please, save my son's life. What about the Comtesse? It looks like the Comtesse is in greater danger of expiring at the moment. Yes, Dulce. She's high strung. An acquaintance spied Emil in the hanged man not long ago. He should still be there. Okay, to the, the hanged man. Hanged man. Oh, but that place is filthy. Oh my gosh, she's Come, too do dramatic as well. Perhaps you should lie down. Oh, but the hanged man is so filthy. <laughs> they are so Orlesian. Oh, what's kind of funny? They are so Orlesian. Alright, never fret. Okay, hang man. Apostate. Okay, electricity. Righteous. Crazy mages. The hangman, right? On the loose. Oh, there it is. Emile de Lancé. Wow. Are you... Are you a mage? 
hate you. Because you just magicked my breath away. As a matter of fact, I am a mage. So am I. Some people say I am a blood mage. I am dangerous. I bet you like danger, don't you? Can I kill him yet? He's hurting me. This man-child has evaded the Templars. Crime of the century. Round the drinks on me. I'm Emil, as you know. And you are. Sympathetic. Feeling very sorry for you. I'm also helping the Templars hunt a mage named Emile de Lance. And here you are. Oh, bugger me. I know what this is about. I, I, I'm not a blood mage, all right? I uh, started that rumor because, uh, because I thought it would make me sound dangerous and uh, but suave. Oh, my God. Uh. I... Exactly. Oh. <laughs> I've only told people in the tavern. And only women. You don't understand. I've been in the circle since I was six. Six? For 20 years I was locked up. I never had a real drink or, or cooked something for myself. Never stood in the rain or kissed a girl. I just wanted to live a little. If you are going to kill me, do it. I'd rather die drunk. <laughs> Oh, help Isabel. <laughs> okay. Emil wants to live a little. Why don't you give him a hand, Isabella? You don't mean no. No! He's revolting. I do just fine whoring myself out without your help, thanks. Did you really escape the circle so you could kiss a girl? Well, not just that. I've read so much about the other things you can do with girls. Ah, he's like you were. Do you remember, Aveline? When you were stupid over Donnick? Yes, I remember. Thank you. I just don't want to die of Elgin. Oh. Who we'll let you go? He's not gonna survive. If I let him go, he's gonna be a fugitive and he's so fucking stupid so he's gonna get caught quite soon I think I couldn't turn him in you can't run the Templars will find you eventually exactly I I'll make you a deal all right give me one night just one night one of the tavern girls Nella agreed to lie with me I even paid for a room please let me have this. Uh, you can take me back in chains after. Change? <laughs> oh my god. Why don't you start small? And leave the chains for when you're more experienced. Huh? Oh, just go do whatever. Well. Up. I'm not going to tell you about it. Ah, that was utterly worth it. Back to the Templars. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, he's harmless. Nonsense. All right. Uh, the last the one. Dark Town. So this is apparently the most dangerous one, according to the intel we got from Elsa. Break some eggs tomorrow, maybe. Good payday. Water. We got nothing here you'd want. Get back to High Town and leave us alone. You're a little young for a blood mage. And I thought Evelina was a girl's name. I'm not Evelina, I'm Walter. Evelina was our friend. She was our mother. 
Evelina found us when the Darkspawn came, when our parents died. She made sure we got to Kirkwall safely. I miss her. But when she went to join the Circle here, they called her apostate for leaving the tower and for Elden. They locked her up. Oh. Where are you from? You came from Ferelden? Yes, until we got here, I thought we were the only ones who had survived. Don't you have any other family? Everyone died in the blight. Evelina kept picking us up, new children every day, everyone she could save. Do the Templars know you're here? I don't care. They only want Evelina. Didn't she want to stay free with you? She didn't want us to be stuck in Darktown. She wanted to give us a real life. She thought the Circle would help her, but they just locked her away. Yeah. <clears throat> what was she expecting? Welcome. Here's a bag of gold for your urchins. Do you think we deserve to live like this? Evelina just wanted to give us the lives we would have had at home. But when she came back to us, the Templars followed her. The Templars made Evelina angry. They made her change. That was a it deep wasn't voice. Her fault. When it was over, she was ashamed. She ran into the tunnels and hid. Shut up, Cricket. Don't tell them that. She's in the sewers, child. You can't go there. She'll know we told you and she'll be angry at us. Angry? I didn't like when she got angry. We we have to hide. Cricket! Oh my god, this is such a musical with those names. Sewer passage. Alright, we have to find her. See what's 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 what, right? And here it's the dangers. Yeah, you don't like eyes, I know that. There's fire and monster. Oh, there are many of them. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Okay. Um, I don't know. Stop stepping on the pressure plates. Oh, okay, Varric. We'll take care of this, right? something what are you doing here I, I thought if we warned her about you she, she wouldn't be angry but then she Walter she's coming run oh my god there you are don't run from me Walter you know those are the rules oh she got the crazy eyes funny in my house, we always felt running away from violent mad women was a good thing. These are my children. 
You and your kind abandoned them. Your Ferelden, like us, that you feast on sweetmeats while your people starve in the Undercity. That's getting you, traitor. And on the perfect Timwars that sent you, Turquoise should be mine. Then my children will have a whole city to play in. Oh my god. She's not the other. She's actually possessed. Evelina loved us. She saved us. Why would she try to hurt us now? That was a deliver Evelina. Evelina would never hurt your child. That was a demon. Remember her as she was. A brave, kind, loving woman. I... <laughs> Trying to be sincere she comes off as more sarcastic for Both me. sides will do anything. <laughs> and stuck in the middle. I just don't know what we'll do now. I will give you Take this and use it wisely. Thank you, Miss Eyre. I should go buy some food for the others. They've been hungry for a long time. Alright, let's get out of here. Is it back to uh, tell Mer Meredith? Okay, back to uh, the gallows. Well, uh, then uh, yeah, after that, I think we're gonna take a break for tonight. It's been a full three-hour stream. I usually just do two hours, but it was so fun I couldn't stop playing. The gallows. They are so releasing. Uh, I'm gonna use that one. I mean, look at this. I mean, you run around in an RPG third person view like this. And then you look up and it's like, okay, this is pretty cool. Just look up a little bit. I should run like this, or uh, well, maybe like this, so I can, because someone actually crafted those at Bioware, and we just look, go around, look at uh, like the five meters, while we can actually see, look at the statues and everything, all the details you miss. If she gives me a lecture or something, I'm gonna punish her. I'm led to believe that both Huan and Evelina are dead. Unfortunate, but necessary. Emile de Lancet, however, turned himself in. Rather happily, I might add. <laughs> but I would have had him executed immediately. But the boy's father made an impassioned appeal on his behalf. What say you, champion? Do you believe Emile to be dangerous? No. He was never a danger to anyone but himself. Very well. Emile will keep his life, though I will watch him closely. Should I? Oh my god. I could just say goodbye. At least this is over. I bid you good day, champion. I'm trying to keep a seal wall, seal wall at least. I don't have to deal with her... Uh... Lecturers, so uh, I don't have to get hostile back. Could just say goodbye. It's been a pleasure. I hope I never see you again. Doesn't have to be more uh, than that. All right, back to our estate and uh, take a break. Oh. 
Oh, I got mail as well. Okay, I'm gonna check the mail. Good to see you again, Mr. Varick. Right behind you, Hawk. Lead the way. Right behind you, Hawk. You know, you play Diamondback better than my cousin Vidar. You wag your tail whenever you have a good hand, though. Might want to watch that. Is it brilliant or horrible that you play Diamondback with my dog? All I'm saying is he'd be up more than two sovereigns if he watched his tails. My Uncle Emmett has a whole pack of Rat Terriers who play every week. They're a cutthroat bunch. You've got a long way to go to be their quality. Now don't take it bad. You're still better than Anders. Coming to the Hangman later? I want the I, I want the dog. Like, the Membari. Smart enough to understand you. Oh my god, I got a lot of things. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, Alistair. I have to write this down, I think. King Alistair. We did make him king. Yeah. Except she's accused of coddling her men and weakening the law by Colin. What Colin is a good man. Please meet me at the gallows. Okay, now it's time for Ursino's quest thing here. Thank you for doing the right thing. A boy major, but blah blah blah. Okay. Yeah. I got something. Ah, uh, ten gold for uh, the troubles. Okay, let's check what we did. We got uh, Orsino, Varric, and King Alistair. King Alistair, we're going to start with that because, well, we know. Well, you and me, are, I, uh, real life people know who he is. My character Aurora knows about him. All right, that's it for tonight. It was a long stream. And um, see if I've split up this episode on YouTube or something. Alright, see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.